In the past months, I started to see very often companies requiring data analysts that need to perform machine learning tasks, or maybe a data scientist that need to take care of data pipelines, or even data engineers with data visualization skills. And this happens mainly because some companies don't have enough resources to hire three different data roles, but maybe they only have the budget for one person doing it all. And this is where it comes an app that I found that streamlined most of data warehousing and ELT processes, so at least the data engineering part is taken care of and data people can actually focus on generating insights for the business. So without further ado, let me show you what I mean and make sure to stay with me as I have a cool demo to show you as well. So as we said, in the fast-paced business world, many data people find themselves multitasking. They are doubling up as data analysts, data engineers, and developers. The platform that solves it all is called Panoply, a product line of Scream, and it addresses these challenges head on. It acts as a dedicated engineer, focusing on seamless data connection and maintenance allowing businesses to concentrate on driving insights from their data. Small businesses often struggle with establishing and supporting a robust data infrastructure due to limited resources, and this is where Panoply fills a critical gap. It not only provides the data warehouse and ELT, but also provides access to top-tier engineering support customized to meet each client's unique needs. One of Panoply's greatest strengths is its tool-agnostic approach. Whether a business uses Tableau for sales or Power BI for marketing, maybe as data stored locally or in a S3 bucket or even in Salesforce, Panoply integrates seamlessly, enabling diverse teams to utilize various data tools effectively. Basically, Panoply removes the need for in-depth data engineering or IT expertise, taking over the data infrastructure heavy lift. This allows businesses to focus solely on leveraging their data for growth. But let me show you in real life the power of this tool so that all of this becomes more clear. So I found this cool data set in Kaggle about sales data for a random superstore, and I will use it for our example. I uploaded it into my Google Drive, and now I want to do some analysis. The usual way to do this would be to maybe use Python and the Google Drive API to connect to my data and start analyzing, or I can open open the Panoply app and use the so-called connectors to connect to my data. Okay, so I'm inside Panoply and as we said, I need to connect to my data in Google Drive. So I'm gonna click on add uh, connector and then I'm gonna select Google Sheets. I'm gonna do sign in with Google and here I'm gonna select my Google account. So just a normal sign in. I'm gonna click on allow. Right, and now I just need to select the files that I'm interested in. So I'm gonna select sample superstore one, two and three and save changes. I'm gonna click on collect data. And now automatically Panoply is um, retrieving the data that I have stored in Google Drive. And so in a few seconds, the collection has been successful. And so now I can go into the tables tab and here I can see the three uh, superstore tables that I just imported. Now I'm gonna go on the workbench and for those of you using Google BigQuery, you're gonna kind of recognize this platform is very similar. And so here in the inside the Panoply schema, as you can see in the tables, I have the three superstore tables. And so just to check that everything is working fine, I'm gonna just do a select star from the Panoply schema dot, and I'm gonna select the first table. I'm gonna just limit 10 because I just want to retrieve the first 10 rows in SQL. I'm gonna click on run, and here it is the data that is part of this table. And so basically now I can, uh, you know, start doing some, for example, data cleaning. I can uh, rename all the three tables into Panoply Sales 1, Sales 2, and Sales 3, just to make it a bit more easier to uh, use it in SQL. And if I just refresh, now these are the new names of the tables. And now I can even create a view where I actually union all the sales uh, tables in one, and I'm gonna call that All Sales. And again, um, if I run it, as you can see under the view, I have now the old sales uh, view. Now, before we go on, let me quickly tell you more about connectors because this is one of the most powerful features of this tool. So basically, Panoply simplify the complex world of data integration with three major data connectors. The first one is the direct database connection. So this is as straightforward as connecting an application to a database with all the typical settings you would expect, like host and port configurations. The second one is file uploads. So this is perfect for one-time data imports. Whether it's CSV, XML, or JSON, upload your file and Panoply converts it into tables, making use of BigQuery for SQL conversion. It even extends to remote storage sources like Google Drive and SFTP, crawling through data in depth, including within 
Google Sheets. And then the third one is the application connectors. And so primarily consisting of native Snap connectors, these enable easy integration with various platforms. And so for applications without native support, Panoply offers the innovative Flex connectors, a tool reminiscent of Postman to connect to APIs where no native options exist. Now that we got this, let's keep going with the demo. And there is something nice I want to show you. Okay, and so I want to show you another feature in here in the editor. So I'm just checking in the all sales views what kind of uh, uh, columns we have. So for example, we have category and I see profit as well. So what I can do is let's do a select. I'm gonna select the category. Uh, I'm gonna select the sum of profit. Uh, very simple query here. So I'm gonna call this profit and then from the schema name is called panoply and then the views is called all sales and then i need to group by category as you see now I, I wrote my query i can actually click on format to have it perfectly formatted in the screen and then if i click on run then a simple query gonna have the profit by category so this is as usual what you can do in any SQL editor. But the cool part here is that I can actually create a chart inside the platform itself. So for example, here I'm creating automatically a pie chart with uh, the profit by category. And it gives me actually the percentages. These are not things that I calculated in my query, but it calculates those uh, automatically and uh, put in the colors as well. So, you know, these are again visualizations that maybe can be achieved by uh, using a BI tool or maybe in Python writing code that, to create visualizations. I can even do the bar charts. So as you can see, these are things that can be done in the platform itself instead of using uh, BI tools. So. Uh, Python, just in case you want to do some quick analysis and visualizations. So bar chart as well looks good. Obviously the line chart in this case wouldn't make a lot of sense. And then uh, if I'm happy with this analysis, I can click on this option and I can export the file as a CSV file. Uh, so with the, with the final table, copy query, copy results and uh, save it in, uh, in different formats as well. So yeah, I would say pretty handy and uh, straightforward user interface in here. Show you is this tab called BI connection. So actually I can uh, connect my database that I created in Panoply to my favorite BI tools. And so you see here all the options like Looker, you see Tableau, you see Jupyter, Metabase, and Power BI, and, and all of them basically. And so this is extremely simple and because you have all the connection details here. And so it is in the same way as you connect to Google BigQuery, you just have to use these credentials. So you have the project name, project ID, the user, the password, and also, I like the fact that the documentation that they have on Panoply website is also very accurate. So let's say that I want to connect to Tableau and uh, this is all the step by step. So you see the uh, Tableau interface. I need to click on connect more uh, Google BigQuery and then I need to uh, sign in with the Panoply email and basically uh, authorize Panoply for the connection and using the uh, project name and that's mainly it. So in case of any doubts, you can either can contact the, the support or just uh, leveraging on the very nice documentation they have. And there you go, guys. I hope this video was helpful to show you how to take care of data engineering heavy lifting all in one app, no matter the format of the data you need to use and no matter where you get this data from. So make sure to visit panoply.io to try all of this yourself. And I will also leave a link in the video description. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for more content related to data analytics. I will also leave here in the screen some more videos that you might like and will enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.